What's up everybody? It's your boy Trey Swervo coming at you with an intriguing and exciting video about the cancellation of one of the most beloved animated shows of the 90s, Static Shock. Now, Static Shock was a show that had a huge impact on many of us. Now, including me, who grew up during that era. It had everything, a relatable and charismatic protagonist, a diverse cast of characters, exciting storylines, and of course, the electrifying action scenes. It was a show that tackled social issues before that was a popular theme. Now, it even gets kind of corny nowadays, but they did this in a very organic fashion, and it even made them stand out from other cartoons of its time. This show was fantastic. It included characters such as Virgil, who was Static Shock, of course, Richie Foley, and of course, the infamous Hot Streak, Everybody liked Hot Street. Come on now, he was he was low-key kind of lit, man. Despite his popularity, Static Shock was canceled after just four seasons, leaving fans wondering why such an amazing show would meet such an untimely demise. Well, there were several factors that led to the cancellation of Static Shock, but first, please subscribe. Come on now, you can't be following my episodes and not subscribe it. Also, drop a comment, like, and share my videos. Please, please, please. Now it's time for our favorite questions. If Static Shock was so popular, what happened? How did it fall from fame? And how did it get canceled? Well, today we're going to dive into how Kids Warner Brothers, or just Kids WB, did not hold up their end of the agreement. And I have three pieces of evidence to support that claim. Reason number one, competition. First and foremost, it's important to note that Static Shock was a victim of the infamous Kids WB curse. The Kids WB curse comes from the highly acclaimed cartoon series losing viewers to a heavily competitive market. Many other shows that aired on Kids WB during that time suffered the same fate, including the Batman and Jackie Chan adventures. This was largely due to the fact that Kids WB was losing ratings and viewership to other networks, such as Cartoon Network, Nicktoons, Disney Channel, hell, even Fox Kids was applying pressure. As a result of a competitive market for cartoons, Static Shock lost a lot of their target audience. Reason number two, merch sales. Another factor that contributed to Static Shock's cancellation was the lack of merchandise sales. If you have been following my channel, you have the clear understanding that the toy sales will cancel the show faster than a cheetah with a Red Bull addiction. Seriously though, it's a major component of how networks determine which shows to renew for future seasons. Unfortunately, Static Shock didn't have the same level of merchandise sales as other popular shows like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, which made it less profitable for the network. Reason number three, lack of network support. This is our last reason, but perhaps the biggest reason for Static Shock's cancellation. Kids WB just didn't see profit in Static Shock the series. Despite the show's popularity and critical acclaim, Kids WB failed to properly promote it or give it the same level of attention as other shows in its lineup. This, in turn, led to a decline in viewership and ultimately resulted in the show's cancellation. We see the success of Static Shock in pop culture, trailer teases, and even cameos. But in terms of Static Shock the cartoon series, it, its era was too packed for it to be in the number one cartoon slot, which resulted in it flying under the radar at Kids WB and again ultimately leading to its cancellation. Well, so there you have it. The reason why Static Shock was canceled, it's a shame that such an amazing show had it to end prematurely. But it's important to remember the impact that it had on so many of us who grew up watching it. With that being said, I don't necessarily think it could have been avoided being canceled. The only way it probably could have if they probably delayed the show coming out maybe about like five or six years. Uh, objectively, it, it was right to probably get canceled. If you even go Google it, there's not a lot of cartoon ads, toy ads, anything really for uh, Static Shock rather than just word of mouth. Despite its cancellation, Static Shock remains a beloved and important part of our childhoods, and its legacy will live on for generations to come. With that being said, thanks for tuning in to this video, 
And be sure to let me know your thoughts on Static Shock and his cancellations in the comments below. Also, what video should I do next? What cartoon? What video game? Is there a comic book? Anyways. But as you know, always stay swervo. And I'm out of here, my boy.